Hey everyone, and welcome back to another Desmos Craft tutorial. This is, this is now part of like like a a, a sub series for uh, for um for a city project. Uh, it is perfectly normal to have things like this, considering that this is a relatively large project. Uh, so, uh, anyways, uh, so last time uh, we we drew a beanie. For, for a clown, if you're following along, uh, I do agree uh, it is it does look pretty bland, but uh, but uh, I'll come back to it if I have time towards the end of this video. Uh, but, uh, but the point of today's you know is uh, is uh, adding hair to the clown. Uh, so clowns normally have like hair coming out on the sides of the heads. At least those are the ones that I'm more familiar with, and I was originally planning on on using like more circular equations, but but uh, for those of you getting tired of seeing those, I want to change them up for you. So uh, so there are some equations that we, that, we, that we can fill around with, and I want to move them up so you can see them. Uh, so first one I believe is one over x times sine of x. <laughs> I want to move it up just so you can see it. So let's move it up over here. So we want it to be, be squished. This one, there we go. Um, and then we can simply stretch it out. Nope, that doesn't stretch it. So, so we can do something like so we can use this kind of equation. I'm gonna color code it just so we know that's not official yet. She looks pretty cool. Um, another one that we could try. It's like a dampening harmonic wave. And I believe the equation for that. Okay, it's either what this one looks like plus then. So it is multiplication. Okay, and if I if I divide this by zero point zero one. It's smaller. So if I multiply it a little more, um, but uh, if, yeah, if you zoom out, we have like a pretty huge, not like this exponentially increasing graph. So that is probably the one that I'm going to go with. Uh, but since this one is increasing pretty quickly. I want to change that. First, I want to start start uh, cutting it up, and then I want to compress it. So, so this one combines two types of equations. So this one, so there's the so there's the sine wave over here, but at the same time, the amplitude two is increasing. Just just so things make a little more sense on what we're doing, I want to make this green. Um, it's uh, it, it's about to you can see that lines better. So so if you so if you multiply the uh, the inside of of a sine or a cosine function, um, you, you can see that uh, you can see that the the, the graphs being that the graphs are the lines are oscillating quicker, um, and and uh, if you if you if you start dividing up the uh, the x on the exponent, uh, you notice that that's actually decreasing quicker. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with eight since eight seems to be now pretty nicely.
I want to like just attach it just on the side of his head somewhere so find a nice spot for it. So pretty funky. A little smaller. Yeah. Tapping around with the amplitude. And uh, we can do the same deal with the equation where uh, we can just add a constant to this one. So this one we're going to subtract by some constant A. And if if a so as so if you slide it to the right, the graph will move to the right, and if you move it to the left, now it'll actually move to the left. So we want to get more of that that harmonic wave for us. So it can so it just makes editing editing your your lines easier. Let me maybe like reduce amplitude. I don't know if it's making it better or worse. Okay, now I feel like this exponent needs to be bigger. Just, just decide, decide this can be more dramatic. Yeah, I'm liking this one. Depending on what you like. This seems to be the sweet spot. Then we have him coming this. I'm going to have this part come on the side of his head. Let me shift it down by a little bit now. Okay, so now this one is going to go from negative 2.446. Wait, we can find a nice place to stop it. So maybe we can stop right here. You know, 5.195. I feel like I went through all this trouble just to get a graph that looks almost like a sine function. Anyways, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let you guys play, play with that. that uh, I'm not going to waste any time. This is supposed to be a tutorial, not a... So, 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 so the point of this one is just, just to show you some so a new equation that they can possibly play with. This one would be the mirror image. So, so first, I'm, first I'm going to adjust these so it's facing the other ways. So I'm going to make each of these numbers positive. And I'm going to switch around right the inequality. Then we want then the idea of this. So this so now this one is increasing on us. We want this to be decreasing. So we want this to, so we want the amplitude to be getting in lower as we're moving. <clears throat> so actually uh, I realize I'm getting close to 10 minutes. Uh, I'll I'll have to have to I have to make a cut here and I'll be back. Anyways, I guess that's what happens when you're recording with a free software. Uh, so to, to to make this decreasing, the idea is to make 
this one. I need to like flip this on the x axis. So first, we're going to if we flip it around on both sides. I want to get a mirror image of it. Okay, I idea. So, so first we can probably multiply by a negative number. Instead of subtracting a, we're going to add it. Okay, now, now this is perfectly symmetric. So, so putting a negative sign in front of front of your x and everything it modifies. Will will first mirror the graph, and then you're gonna have to change a plus to a minus for to to, to get to get the perfect to get the perfect uh, reflection. Uh, because otherwise, what happens is uh, so do a quick demonstration of what happens. So. Let's take a cubic function. X cubed plus 25. Even better is if we just do f of x equal to x cubed plus 25. Down, you can see it. Uh, and then if you and if you mirror it, oh, well, we do that. Yeah, but the idea is that let's see if it let me modify like this. Okay, so so now if, if you make this, so what this is is this is actually this is now. This x value made negative. So I think it's time just just flip the image of the graph along the. Oh, uh, sorry, did I say x axis? I meant vertical, vertical y axis. So that's, that's what it did. Um, and then, and we can also change this to it. So now I'm gonna move it over. Let's say five units. Not a good one. Okay, and now we move this graph over. At five units. So, so when this graph went over over to the left by five, it got reflected over the vertical axis. So now the now where where the inflection point of this graph is, now now got now got shifted over to left by five or right by five. So it's hard to explain things on the fly, <laughs> but uh, but it's it, uh, yeah, like this equation, like it. What we're doing is we're reversing the process of of what we don't want to happen to get what we want right here. I hope that made sense, um, but. Uh, yeah, but since I put through all that trouble, that's what's add add the features to 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 the pain on the fly. So this one, you know, like what we can do is we can give this this like an extra ring, I guess, like an, a bit of like a rim going on. And then this was going to go from 2.392. This will give you like the rim of this. And uh, you can possibly add like maybe a few vertical lines, like 
equals two Well, that will give you some ideas, and this is going to go from 0 to 23.5. to 23.5. What happens when you rush? Don't think things through. This one, 2.91 and go here this goes 2.291 I'm going to paste that to the orange equation, and the, and the purple one goes from 21.5. It's sort of guaranteed a, a, a one unit difference. We don't, need, we don't need to check the other one. Now, what is this complaining about? Extra plus or equal to sign. Hey, hey, and Anna. Well, those are your details. Um, really, like the possibilities of the clown is endless. If you want to go with curly hair, I mean, be my guest. Um, it's so what you're looking at it, it is my design, but do whatever you want with it. Uh, well, uh, well. Uh, well, this is the clown complete. So, uh, which means, all right, next week I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna start on uh, I wanna start crafting some animals. So, so I hope you're excited for that as I am. I don't sound like it, but I actually am. So, uh, uh, no, I start. So I start taking requests for those and maybe for other ones. I'll dedicate my Wednesdays to miscellaneous and uh, future Saturdays to. Too late for animal suggestions. So uh, I'll see you next week.